everyone, it's Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video is step number two in our update for our Scooty, which is a hooded scarf with pockets. Now, in step number one, we made the hoodie section. And today we're going to be finishing it up. We're going to make the scarf portion and show you how to make the pockets. Now, if you need the information for part one with the three different sizes, stitch counts, and all of those pictures and information, you can find the complete pattern for the hoodie and the scarf pocket sections all on one blog. And I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. If you're looking for just the video for part one, I'll put that link right up there and you can just click that link and that'll take you to part one. And then you can come back and do part two. So I have my hoodie section all completed. And as stated in part one, I'm making the medium size. And remember, there's a small that fits the children, a medium that fits the youth, and a large that fits adults. Now I have a smallish head, <laughs> and so I'm making the medium size. And all of those sizes and information, again, is on part one or on the blog that's in the notes underneath the video. I'm still using the same yarn for the scarf and pocket section. Karen Big Cakes, medium weight number four. We're still using our eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle just to weave in ends and your scissors. The amount of yarn also, depending on the size that you're making, is anywhere from 9 to 12 ounces, and that includes the hood and the scarf and pocket sections. Now, to make the scarf portion of our scooty, we're going to begin by making a chain. Then we're going to attach the chain to the bottom of our hood. We'll stitch across the bottom of our hood, and then we're going to chain again, and that's going to form the scarf portion of our hoodie or scooty. Depending on the size that you're going to make, will determine the amount of chains you need to start with. If you're making the child size, you're going to need to chain 50 chains. If you're making the medium size, which is the youth, you're going to need to chain 60 chains. And if you're making the largest size, you're going to need to chain 70 chains. All right? And since I am making the medium size, I'm going to chain 60 chains. So we'll start with our slip knot and then we'll chain the chains needed for the size that we're making. And again, I'm making the medium, so I'm going to chain 60 chains. And I do recommend that you chain this chain just a little bit loose in order to be able to put the stitches in because we'll be going back and forth to make our scarf. All right, so I'm going to chain 60 chains. I have stitched my 60 chains. And this next portion, it doesn't matter what size you're making, it's going to be done the same. The only difference is, of course, you're going to have more or less stitches depending on what size that you made. We're going to join to that first stitch and stitch a single crochet and now what we're going to do is we're going to evenly stitch single crochets across the bottom of our hood. There is not a set amount of stitches for this portion. You're just going to evenly stitch them Try to go in the sides of the stitches and not the holes if possible. And what you're going to do is you're just going to look at it and see how it lays. We want it to lay evenly and smoothly 
not puckered up and not too far apart. All right, and trying to go through stitches and not holes. All right, now there might be a place like right there where a hole is fine, but you're just gonna have to eyeball it. And again, there's not a set amount of stitches going across the bottom of our hood. We just want it to look nice and pretty. So, evenly crochet, single crochets across the bottom of the hood. I have evenly single crocheted all the way across the bottom of my hood. And now what we're going to do is we're going to chain the same amount that we chained on this side we want to chain on this side. And since I'm making the medium size, I'm going to chain 60 chains. And just a reminder, if you're making the small size, you need to chain 50. If you're making the medium, you'll need to chain 60. And if you're making the large, you'll need to chain 70 chains. And again, I'm making the medium, so I'm going to chain 60 chains. So now I have two long chains of 60 chains each and my single crochets across the bottom. And this is what forms the length of our scarf. Alrighty, now we're going to continue to repeat the pattern that we did up here. So we're going to chain one. We're going to double crochet in the second chain from the hook. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two loops. Yarn over, go through the second two loops. Now we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. And this is what we learned on the hood on R3 is the alternating double crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. And this is what we're going to repeat all the way up till we reach the hood portion. So one single crochet in the next chain, double crochet in the next chain, single, double, single, double, all the way up till we reach the hood, working all the way up our chain. go single double single double alternating singles and doubles working all the way up our chain till we reach our hood so I've stitched all the way up my chain alternating singles and doubles and I'm back up here to where we stitch those single crochets across. And what we're going to do is we're going to continue to alternate our singles and doubles. Well, my last chain, I stitched a double. So I'm going to stitch a single in the next single crochet. And then we're going to alternate our doubles and our singles working all the way across the bottom of our hood of our scooty. So, double crochet in the next, single crochet in the next, double crochet in the next, single crochet in the next, alternating all the way across the bottom, working in these single crochet stitches. Double crochet in the next, and single crochet in the next, alternating across. So I stitched all the way across the bottom of my hood, single, double, single, double, alternating all the way across. And this brings me to the chain on the other side. And we're going to continue to repeat that pattern. 
Here's a double crochet in my last stitch. So my first chain stitch, I'm going to stitch a single crochet. And then we'll stitch a double in the next. Single in the next. Double in the next. And single in the next. Alternating again, double crochets and single crochets, working all the way down the chain on this side for the other side of our scarf. Continuing to work the alternating stitches of single double, single double, working all the way down the chain on this side. I've completed that row alternated singles and doubles on my chain then we alternated singles and doubles across the bottom of our hood then we alternated singles and doubles across the second chain all right and that's how this row should look and now we're set up to add our scarf now the way the next rows are going to work is you're going to continue to repeat your singles and doubles just like we did in the hood section all right so we're going to chain one and turn now if your last stitch on your row was a single crochet you're going to stitch a double crochet in your single crochet but if it was a double crochet you'll start with a single crochet it might be different depending on how many stitches you added in here because there was not a set amount of stitches for the bottom of the hood. All right, you just need to make sure that your single crochets are stitched in a double crochet and your double crochets are stitched in a single crochet. And we'll repeat this all the way across the bottom forming our scarf. We'll go all the way across here, across the bottom of the hood, and then all the way across the other side, alternating single crochets and double crochets, always making sure that we stitch our single crochet in a, in a double crochet and our double crochet in a single crochet. Again, this is what gives us our wonderful texture stitch on our scooty and scarf. Alrighty, so I'm going to continue all the way across the bottom, stitching my double crochets and my single crochets single crochets in my double crochets alternating back and forth single double single double all the way across i have completed that row stitching all the way across the chain all the way across the bottom and then all the way back down the next chain for our scarf portion alternating doubles and singles and now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat this for the small size you're going to need to repeat this for 12 more rows for the medium size you'll need to repeat for 14 more rows and for the large size, you'll need to repeat for 16 more rows. And this is going to give us the width that we need for our scarf. So we're going to continue to repeat this row, alternating singles and doubles for the amount we need for the size that we're making. Once you've stitched the amount of rows that you need for the size that you're making, and of course, if you want it to be wider or more narrow, you can add or subtract the amount of rows that you stitch for the scarf section 
of your scooty. What we're going to do, here's my last stitch. We're going to cut our yarn and we're going to tie off. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and use our needle and weave in our two ends of our scarf. And once we get it all weaved in and it's nice and tidy, I'm going to show you how to make or form the pockets. We're going to form the pockets simply by folding up the end of our scarf on our scooty and make sure that you're folding it up the right direction so your pocket is facing the right direction. All right, now for the smallest size, you're going to measure about four inches for your pocket. For your medium size, you're going to measure about six inches up. And then for your largest size, you're going to measure about eight inches up. Now, you can adjust that as needed if you want it to have longer pockets or shorter pockets. All right, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take our yarn. We're going to join over here. We're going to be stitching the front and the back together. And we're going to do this by stitching slip stitches. We're going to go in the first stitch on this side and the first stitch on this side. And we're going to pull that loop through, then pull that loop through the loop on our hook. And we're going to do this all the way up the side of our pocket. Make sure we keep it snug down. And you can see it forms a nice even braid on the front of our pocket. Now be careful not to pull it too tightly because we don't want it to be so snug that it puckers up the side of our pocket. All right, we're almost to the top. All right, now we've got this side sewn on securely and we will have to go back in and weave that end in when we're done. Once we get to the top, we're going to stitch a chain one. And now we're going to stitch, let me move this yarn out of the way there. Now we're going to stitch only across the top of this edge of the pocket and we're going to stitch single crochets. And we're just going to stitch them evenly. And this is just so that we have a nice edge on the top of our pocket where we're going to be putting our hand in and out. And Again, when we're stitching evenly, we're not really counting the stitches. We just want it to lay nice. That's called stitching evenly across. All right, now we're almost to the edge. 
where we're going to stitch the other side of the pocket to the scooty or the scarf portion of the scooty okay so now we're going to move this again <clears throat> making sure we're nice and even we're going to go in that same stitch go across and now I'm going to make a little chain one right there and that's going to help that stay secure and now we're going to go back to doing slip stitches down the side going through both sides of our pocket And again, make sure they're nice and neat and even, not too tight and not too puckery. Or I should say not too gaping and not too puckery. We want our hands to be able to stay inside and not pull on those stitches. And see how that again is making a nice braid down the side? <clears throat> And we'll just keep working down the side till we get to the bottom of our pocket. All right, we cut our yarn, tie that off, and now the last thing we need to do is weave in these ends, and then we need to do the pocket on the other side. <clears throat> so I'm going to put my hand inside. I'm going to make a little loop there just to make sure that last stitch holds, and now I'm going to go inside and turn my pocket wrong side out. And now I'm just going to weave that in. And it's very important that this is weaved in securely because hands are going to be jabbed down right inside these pockets because they're going to want to stay warm. And so we're just going to make a bunch of loops and stitches going through fibers and making sure that's going to stay put. <clears throat> Let's see, there it is. We'll need to tidy up this side as well. And then we'll do the pocket on the other side. So there's our first pocket. <laughs> now I need to do the other side. I've completed that second pocket and now my scooty hooded scarf with pockets is ready for me to wear it out on my errands. I love this scarf. It's super easy to make. Whether you call it a scooty, a scarf, or a hooded scarf with pockets, it's perfect.